In a fast-paced world ruled by the diktats of technology, if you're outdated, you're out. And that's why choose a place of knowledge where the motto is learning for life. Welcome to the TAPI Management Institute or TAPME where management in fact is not just taught but also practiced. I'm Nikhil Ananda and over the next half hour I'll go inside one of India's best P-schools to find out just how they're perfecting the art of management excellence. Located in the international university town of Manipal, where nearly 30,000 young students learn everything from medicine and hospitality to media and management, TAPME has a history that spans over three decades. It was founded by the late T. A. Pai in 1980 and has over the years played a pivotal role in strengthening the educational and health infrastructure of Manipal, occupying a rather special spot in town. He had the idea of uh, setting up an institute in a rural setting and then create managers which are more relevant for India compared to a western type um, managers of the future. And his idea might have come because he was also part of setting up uh, Indian Institute of Management Bangalore. The school's new 42-acre campus is perched atop a hill overlooking an expanse of tropical greenery that could make you feel like you are in a jungle lodge. Until you see the rest of the infrastructure. state-of-the-art classrooms, plush offices for the faculty, a knowledge centre, cutting-edge computer labs, a canteen that does some seriously good coffee, and a hostel that feels just like home. Even though there are students who've made it here from at least 27 different states of India. We are My name is Moinak Banerjee, I'm from Mumbai. My name is Rishabh, uh, I'm from Lucknow. My name is Swati and I'm from Bangalore. The best thing about Tapme is that the lush green campus that we have and the infrastructure facilities that are provided to the students. For me, it's like home away from home over here. The way the professors teach, they want us to think in the way a proper manager thinks. You learn how to uh, multitask. Uh, you learn how to do your best when you're under stress and pressure. The methodology of teaching is so real life that it actually helps us in uh, learning the things uh, first hand and actually uh, get a real experience of what is going to happen when we actually move out to the real world and start working. The scenery over here acts like a stress buster. To excel in postgraduate management, education, research and practice, that's the mission with which TAPME operates. And to talk to us a bit more about that is Dr. Guru Raj Kidiyur, who is the director of the Institute. Sir, thanks so much for talking to us here at this beautiful campus. I want to, in fact, begin by asking you also about your other motto, which is essentially learning for life. Tell us a bit more about that and how you incorporate uh, this philosophy at TAPME. Excellence is not complete. It's a learning process. So our primary motto is to ensure that our students are open to ideas, open to people, and open to the environment. Right. And that itself makes them a learner for life. You know, what's the kind of infrastructure, the facilities that uh, are made available to students at TAPME to ensure that they learn and that process really isn't hindered? See, there are two types of infrastructure. One is the physical infrastructure, the other one is the academic infrastructure. Academic infrastructure we have I think is one of the best in this country. Mm -hmm. We believe in something called as experiential learning. Students learn by experiencing, students learn by experimenting, so we have a large amount of project component built into our curriculum. Our methodology, our pedagogy is case-based. Our students, I think, do about 200 cases in a year. We use a lot of simulations and we have support systems built for that. The other thing that you also 
have is, of course, the accreditation from uh, AACSB. You know, what's the relevance of that uh, for a student, you know, perhaps wanting to come into TAPME and considering this as an education institute of choice? I think today there are only about five institutions in India who have this accreditation. AACSB means quality. It means quality in your processes, quality in your delivery. So AACSB also means measurement of outcomes. Now from a student's perspective, if you see there are a lot of companies, the top corporate companies, which only look at AACSB accredited schools. And it's also an established fact that AACSB accredited schools, B schools, uh, offer higher, and the companies offer higher packages. The accreditation is clearly a badge of honor for TAPME, which is consistently ranked among the top 1% of the over 3,500 B schools in India. Sustaining this mantle involves not just a rigorous admissions process, but also a unique pedagogy and a grading methodology that brings out the best in every student. Yes. Come to that. Undertaking any of TAPME's three flagship courses on offer the PG Diploma in Management, the PG Diploma in Healthcare Management, or the PG Diploma in Management that's focused on banking and financial services. When it comes to input quality, you know, A, we look for students with good scores in standardized tests, you know, GMAT, CAT, ZAT. Thereafter, it's the responsibility of the candidate to impress the interview panel which typically comprises of uh, two academic members and one from the industry, usually one of our major recruiters or one of our alum uh, with 10 plus years of experience. I am very happy to say that our school has 40% female representation, highest among the top B schools in the country. I mean, we represent at least 25 to 27 states in the country. We have a very diverse cohort. This is very important, not only from the perspective of learning and also uh, character building. In my case, a personal interview was actually quite uh, stressful, a stress interview, as they say. Uh, a lot of people had a more chilled out one. Uh, so it was mostly, in my case, because I had WorkEx, they asked me a lot of things about uh, uh, where I'm going from here and uh, what is my plan and how, I, how, how does tap me help you know, fit into that plan. So I had to know a lot about the courses uh, and in terms of what, what I want to do in second year and stuff like that. The approach is it's terrifically holistic. Before every class, they have to come prepared with a case. I take great pride in saying that TAPME is one place where we teach them to be punctual. About 25% of our faculty members are visiting faculty. So we believe in TAPME that our, our teaching must be a blend of both. Well, we have had Mr. Mohinder Spy come in, the, the famous uh, journalist T. Sainath, Mr. N Nitin Gadkari, amongst the few names that I can give you. So what happens when we have this guest faculty over here, it forms an important part of the fabric of an MBA. Because in TAPME, what we are taught is to management in practice. These people that come, they get in with them industry experience, which helps us connect theory and practice together. There's continuous exams, there's continuous practice, a lot of pressure. But all of these things make us very much ready. So we are like those hard-boiled eggs which are put in a softer environment outside. As a part of uh, your experiential learning, we have different simulation games, which is at par with the international B-schools. And these kind of, you know, gives us a hands-on experience about what are the kind of decisions that can be taken during, uh, you know, difficult times that could arise in any business-like uh, situation. The emphasis here at TAPME very clearly on doing rather than just on theory. And this, says the faculty, is a conscious effort to help the students lead and also make them accountable. And the proof of that lies in TAPME's enviable placements record over the last 25 years. We have uh, been consistently achieving 100% placement. So uh, there's not, uh, there's usually a trend in uh, TAPME where every student who is a part of TAPME actually by the time he goes out is already equipped with a job. On an average, we get close to around 250 plus companies to the campus in any placement cycle. And uh, we get these across 32 various sectors. The average salary what uh, we have been, uh, we uh, achieved last year was around 9.24. That's almost 9% increase in our average salary. So the salary ranges go from 9 to almost around 20 lakhs. 
The practical, hands-on approach to making students employment ready and getting them prepared to face the big bad world of jobs and careers involves regular interactions with alumni as well as a strong interface with the industry through events and lectures. Because the good people are going to go where the opportunity is. If you can look at what are the roadblocks, what are the possibilities, who is actually the brain behind everything here in Manipur. Situation. that have seen the who's who of corporate India descend upon the campus over the years. Deep inside you, you know that it's the right decision for the right reasons, not for the wrong reasons. Then you should go ahead and take it. We've got marking names from various sectors. So let's say we've got Goldman Sachs from the BHSI sector, or you have Amul that visits our campus, we get Wildcraft. We also have various recruiters like Future Group who's always visited our campus for various campus engagement activities. So across sectors, we've got our corporate partners. <laughs> We got a bunch of alumni to come back to class and tell us how this so-called vocational approach to learning has helped them in their later lives. Okay, joining us now are in fact two alumni of TAPME, that's uh, Dr. Smitha and that's Archana, both of whom in fact work with uh, different parts of the Manipal group. So I want to start with you. Uh, you know, how has life and your career been post TAPME and how do you think the institute really helped in shaping the person that you are today? I think the curriculum the curriculum, the teaching learning process which is adopted by TAPME plays a very important role. How it uh, helps us push us to the, to the maximum and enhances our benchmarks. I think that is one important learning from TAPME. I think uh, uh, two years you transform yourself into another individual. We have been uh, conducting, as in they have been conducting a uh, meet uh, every 10 year uh, after you have graduated or say even a, uh, you know city wise meets so that way it has helped us to stay in touch with the, the alma mater oh. in a better way the internships the industry interface clearly helps bring in some rigor and while helping place students across some of the top notch companies in india and the world also unleashes the entrepreneurial spirit in others Like Apurva, a second year student of PGDM whose grand ambitions to launch a gaming app company suddenly seem more realistic after a stint at TAPME. Alright Apu, so you have ambitions of becoming a gaming entrepreneur. Uh, can you tell me how TAPME has essentially facilitated this dream? How it's sort of given you an impetus to actually go ahead and fulfill your dream? Yeah, um, so we had Cubus, which is a soft skill management consulting firm come into our college for our recruitment processes. And um, I realized that they're also in charge of the IIT Madras incubation cell. Mm -hmm. So uh, we spoke to the placement committee and got a chance to pitch to them about our idea. And they seemed pretty interested. Mm -hmm. And uh, our relationship with them has begun. Mm -hmm. They have helped us uh, in ways in, you know, on how to get investor ready. Um, we had another opportunity with another uh, great company like NASCOM, NASCOM's 10,000 Startups. Uh, they came here for a guest lecture and uh, again we pitched to him and uh, they also seemed pretty interested with that idea. And uh, without TAPME this would not have been possible, you know, meeting, me meeting people like this was not happening otherwise. Coming up, it's all about experiential learning. We take you inside the TAPME Finance Lab where students turn traders, putting real money where their mouth is. If you're wondering whether we've left the Tapme campus and entered some sort of a trading zone in a brokerage house, you could be forgiven because here at the Tapme Finance Lab, students are not just students, they turn investors. This is the largest Bloomberg lab in the country with 16 terminals where students of the postgraduate banking and financial services course don't merely learn the theory behind investing strategies but actually put money into the stock market. A great example of what TAPME calls experiential learning. The idea is very simple. Win big credits if your portfolio is in the green or lose marks if there's red all over your screen. 
All right, Amai, tell me a little bit more about the student-managed uh, investment course. What exactly? Is you it? see, we have a corpus of 25,000 is given to each student, and we are like split into five uh, teams of five or six. And we have to invest in real-time stock market. And based on that, we have these returns made. As of now, we're bleeding a little bit uh, because the markets are down today. If we're at a loss, it, it affects our grades, but uh, it's only 30%. The majority is reports and our investment rationale, how we go about it. All of us wish we become stock market traders, but then if it's not going to be on a professional basis, at least for our own personal investments, I think Bloomberg is going to help us in a lot of ways. End of the course, we invite the industry stalwarts. They come and evaluate our students and they make a formal presentation to the industry. And that, I think, is an amazing experience because there is no school in the country that actually, in, does, that actually does a course like this, where students are told you have to invest in the markets. I give them some basic filters, and then they have to use the Bloomberg terminals, they have to create their own portfolios, they have to present the portfolio performance to me every week, they have a stop loss, a complete risk management strategy, they prepare the most comprehensive investment diary, which documents every decision the team takes. TAPME is the only school in the world to collaborate with Bloomberg, so we call it TAPME Bloomberg Olympiad. So what we do in that is we invite every school. Bloomberg has a program called BCP, the Bloomberg Champions Program, under which they ask schools to nominate champions. So our school has three champions, and every school that subscribes to Bloomberg Terminals also has champions. We pay for those champions to come here and compete in this very lab, the state-of-the-art lab that TAPME has. The focus on real-time learning doesn't just stop here. Flagship events such as BrandScan or Atharva and conclaves across various knowledge domains keep students busy throughout the year. On the day we visited, preparations were underway full swing for the FMCG conference. If you want to skill the students and make them future ready, it is very important that they understand what is the expectation on the other side. Higher the level of interaction, Higher is the confidence level of the student because they get a head start in terms of understanding things rather than going there, spending a month or two understanding how an organization works. This gives them a platform to understand, interact with the industry guys one to one and that's better. There is always a gap between reality and theory. Uh, such forums, you know, bridge these gaps and the students are well aware as to what is the industry all about and how the theory is about. <laughs> And when students have had enough of conference halls, there's always the beach. And I've been urged a change of clothes and asked to make a quick trip to the shore. Now the sea is an integral part of the life of not just the locals in Manipal, but also the students at TAPME who are now joining me here. And this is in fact Srinivas, who's the convener for one of the flagship events uh, at TAPME that happens on the beach. So he's going to tell us a little bit more about what's called Quiz on the Beach. So QOTB started uh, around 13 years ago when TAPME decided to get involved in the beach, beautiful beach city and the basic concept of core values of TAPME that is knowledge. So over the past three years QOTB has grown by exponential. I think so if we take the last year that is 2016 we had around 1000 participants from over 300 colleges. So QOTB we are proud to say is an event which is considered to be the biggest on campus quiz competition in the country. First Sunday of every January we uh, try to get the, all the best minds in the country on this common platform and run our flagship event. Right, and QO2B of course is just one of the events that happens. Uh, there's several others that happen not on the beach but of course on the campus and Atharva is one of them. Can you yeah. tell us a little bit more? So uh, Atharva is TAPME's annual B-School Fest. So it started off as a very modest intra-TAPME cultural event and today 29 years down the line it's one of the oldest and probably the country's biggest management fest. This year is going to be our 30th year and we're very very excited. And amongst all the things that I like about Tapmi, Atharva like tops the list. As the sun goes down for the day, those students at Tapmi who've been working hard also know how to party hard as my colleague Barkha Madhok has been finding out back at the institute. Thanks Nikhil, we are here at this beautiful sprawling TAPME campus and right beside me is this shed. Who would have thought that this shed turns out to be the most happening place on campus just after the sun sets? TAPME, we are from TAPME, we are from As 
Some party hard, others wind down to more reflective tones, strumming their guitars as they burn the midnight oil. Striking that perfect balance between work and play as the day comes to an end. You can hear the whistle 